Hello everyone, uh, we're back here again. It's a little late, uh, but finally got time to uh, catch up. So we're gonna just, this is part two of the monster that I was working on earlier. Uh, I already have the project here, so we'll just get right into it. So on the last video, um, we just laid out all the Z spheres according uh, according to the reference image that we had. And uh, I changed a few things. Um, I thought that the, the Z-sphere coming off here was a little, little too much. And so I think um, it would be really cool be if like, because I want this monster to have a, like another body laying on top of it and for it to look like it's being morphed together somehow um, I thought it would be really cool and wicked if like there's a mouth coming off of the neck and so this is gonna be like one giant jaw with like rows of teeth here and then on his neck there's gonna be like upper teeth and then a, a giant tongue or something coming out of here with you know another mouth right here and you know the eyes and all that stuff uh, what else did I do I opened up his his upper hands a little bit so that you know they're exposed a little bit more I gave him some elbow claws so when that comes about um, so a few things I wanted to also run through really quick if uh, when you're going through your z-spheres and you're laying them out if you ever want to just see what the base mesh would look like you just hit uh, a Lucky. hit A and it just shows you what it looks like now this isn't actually uh, editable editable uh, you can't really do anything with this until you take it to the next step which is what we're gonna do right now so um, back out just by tapping A again so to start working on this you can go down to adaptive skin right here and we're just going to use the uh, the base uh, guides here um, we're just going to leave the density at 2 that all all that means is uh, this is density 2 more for more subdivisions and whatnot if you bring it down it gives you like a really low res look but uh I bring up to about two. Three is a little bit too much because what you want is you're going to start moving all this around to actually shape the creature. Like this is, you know, obviously not what we're going to start putting detail into. So we'll leave it at two and then you just hit make adaptive skin. And then you want to scroll up back up here and this guy came up, but it's not in your sub tool. And in order for it to get in your sub tool, because you don't want to just start working on, you know, just the single skin. I like to have the uh, Z spheres in the back uh, in case I want to pose it at the very end. We can pose it out, make it look like it's attacking something. Um, so in order to get it in here, you just hit append again. And it's right here. You just click it. And now we're able to start working. So you can start, you know, you know, using the move tool. I just went here. You can hit M and it'll give you every single tool that starts with the letter M. Or if you just know where it's at, you can just go, you know, go find it. In the beginning, the 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 main tools I use is is move. Um, I use inflate here uh, those are pretty much it and I also don't get uh, I don't really go into much uh, into high subdivisions and honestly I'll probably leave this the base I also like to do a few things uh, before I actually start moving anything so in my mind there's gonna be like some faces that are coming off here I was thinking about like just modeling that in there or kind of sculpting it on like the side and down in here on the chest. Uh, this is kind of like where I want to 
be a little innovative maybe uh, one of the things I was thinking about was yeah, we're gonna delete so this is now our base mesh we just deleted the lowest subdivision um, I can go here and this is all the grouping uh, the groups this is a little bit relevant you don't need all of them uh, what I like to start doing is going to poly groups poly group and we're going to group visible so now it's one whole group um, one thing I like to do is when I'm working uh, say if I want to work like on the chest so before I start moving anything around and since this is going to be our lowest one we can control alt shift control alt and start getting rid of it so we're going to get rid of everything that we don't want to be in the group so since this is the base group we shift control alt and drag probably hit x for symmetry so that we're doing it to both sides with the last few okay Okay. So after all that, we're going to go back to the poly groups, group visible again. Okay. Let me change it to a different color. So it's there. What the heck? I did not want this little tiny hand to be on. One more time. Okay. Those little hands there. Okay. Groove visible. All right. So now what we can do is tap. Uh, so shift control tap it brings up his arms. Shift control tap again just goes back. You can just keep doing that. So if you want to do it, you know, just tap off to the side of the screen and it'll bring the whole model back. But what's really nice is you want to group in the very beginning, you want to group uh, all these limbs and stuff. You know, you don't really have to do work, worry much about like the fingers or anything. Uh, you can, if you want, kind of hide, hide things as you're working. But what's really nice is if you're trying to maybe get on the chest, because I'm also going to do it to these ar this arm. Uh, these these front ones uh, 
if you're trying to work on the chest or in the jaw that I've made, it's nice to kind of get in there and not have to worry about these arms being in the way. So we're going to tap again. We are going to get into this way. We're going to find all this. 